Protective Coatings, Window Film, coming at you live, Scorpion Uncut. We've had Zach with us before, uh, but since the last time Zach sat down with us, uh, we've really made some changes and I guess some improvements to the PPF training regime. Yeah. So that's what I wanted to have you here with us today. Tell us about it. Yeah, so when we started, you know, there was a lot of hope, I think, and that it would really take off, but I think and you, I think you would agree with me that we've kind of blown out our own expectations of what training ended up becoming. We've done, since the last one, six yeah. trainings, I think. Um, and at the time this gets aired, we'll probably already be in the middle of our seventh one, uh, averaging uh, six participants per class. Um, Corey and Blake and myself all have people who are dying to come in December and January. So, yeah, it's... It's been awesome. Did you know there was a need for this in our industry? Yes and no. I mean, the, all the suppliers and manufacturers have trainings. Um, the one thing that I thought and wanted to do different, uh, the, the need that I saw was that most of the trainings are all done by corporate trainers. And there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, those guys know what they're talking about. They know the product. They know the details of the product, what it can and can't do. But you know, you miss that chance to talk to somebody who is the same as you. You know, yeah. me and you teaching somebody how to do PPF, even though, you know, you've been in a training now, you could probably talk more about it than a lot of other people. I can show people what to do. I know what to do, right. you know, but I don't do it every day. Right. And, you know, having a trainer who runs multiple shops doing, you know, sometimes six PPF installs with him and his, him and his guys a day, mm -hmm. um, you know, Seeing the, seeing the difficulties of the new cars that come out, seeing how things change, understanding how the software works, how to manipulate it, why certain softwares are better than others, why you may need multiple softwares, what the differences are in PPFs on a day-to-day -day basis is what it was, in my opinion, missing when you look at a lot of the other manufacturers and suppliers is that it's, it's, it's corporatized, and I didn't, I didn't want, I wanted it to be something different, and I think, I think we've excelled. So our trainer is... Probably installing some PPF right now. He is. <laughs> yes, actually, um, just sent me some pictures. That's that's great. So you, you touched on what you like about it and where you wanted to go. Um, is that really what makes this different than some of the others out there? I, I think so. I mean, you know, everybody's prices are similar. You know, um, some are three days, some are two days. There's a couple I think that are even longer. Um, but for me, I think. You know, you talk about this being called uncut. Well, I feel like that's how our trainings are. You know, you and I are there at all of them. Um, and then with Greg, um, it's just real. They're, you know, it's mm -hmm. it's in the moment. We're in a real shop. And, and and the guy running the shop, is he's doing installs and he's making money. And we're in a real life environment. It's not lights, camera, action, let's do training. It's real training. People really get their hands dirty and it's just... You know, when a, when a pattern isn't very much fun to do, it's like, yeah, man, this one's not going to be much fun. Let's just figure out how to do it. You know, and that's so. Yeah, I do. I do think that's that's a great advantage to our training. So you mentioned uh, price there as you were answering that question. Is that something you're comfortable talking about? <laughs> yeah, especially probably since if anybody's watched this the first time, we were at seven fifty. Uh, unfortunately, we had to go up to nine hundred. So we're nine hundred dollars for two days right now. Still includes lunch both days. We provide all the film. You can lay as many kits as you want, install as many patterns as you want. Uh, you get tools, squeegees, knife, blades, pouch, and uh, we give you a t-shirt. And then, you know, assuming that everybody is capable, you know, I hand out that, that certificate at the end as well. Assuming everybody's capable. What if they're not? Well, thankfully we haven't had to deal with that yet. Um, everybody who has come, has had a real desire to want to be there, and, and they get they get dirty, and they they're busy, they're tired at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, I mean, you need it would we would need to reflect. Is that a did we fail yeah. the participant, you know, in, in our training efforts, you know, or is it just something where that participant's really not that into it, you know? And, and I think that with how we schedule people, we will probably. Hopefully we'll never come across that. Okay. I think you referenced maybe five or six trainings so far that we've done. 
So off the top of my head, we've had Georgia, Atlanta, Texas, I believe San Antonio, California, West Virginia, Indiana, obviously Ohio, um, maybe Michigan as well. Michigan, what states am I missing? Michigan, the Indiana. Reach. This next one, we have Missouri and Arkansas coming. So the reach on these PPF trainings has, has been pretty much across the entire United States. Yeah, so and it even sounds like, uh, you know, and, and Greg and I are in talks right now to go to Jamaica. Uh, for the international account that I'm picking up there, so that'll be you know extending your reach. But then we have guys from Colorado uh, that are really wanting to come. More Pennsylvania, um, more Kentucky, you know, Tennessee. Oh, Kentucky was another yeah, Tennessee. Um, on the Jamaica trip, you're gonna need a cameraman to go with. <laughs> That'd be my guess. Hey, yeah, I'm all for it. All right, good deal, good deal. Um, so I remember, uh, I think his name was Walid from the yeah. last one. Um, our last session we had here in Indiana, he came into the experience with absolutely zero, zero. Um, experience, knowledge, know-how, understanding. Um, at the end of the day one, he said he was at 50%. Mm -hmm. uh, you talked to him at the end of day two. Yep. Um, thoughts on He was north of 80%. Okay. Um, you know, a lot of that is just, we're not going to get you to 100. If right. we did, then I would, you know. I would be charging more. Yeah, yes, and, and and I would be concerned, obviously, because the more you do, and each car is a little bit differently, and you get better and better the more you do it. But he said he was north of eighty percent, which was good. And, and you know, day two is a lot different than day one. Yeah. You know, you get to sleep on after day one. You come in, you should be feeling more confident uh, laying those same kits after day one that you're going to do on day two. But then when we throw the curveball and say, "Hey, go do that fender." or go do that bumper, you know, whatever. Okay, yeah, no problem. Come over here with me. No, that's not how day two works. <laughs> you know, they get that deer in the headlights look like, hey no, guys, tomorrow when you guys go back to your shop, I'm not gonna be here, you're not gonna be there, Greg's not gonna be there, whoever, you know, you guys gotta figure it out. So, um, maybe they're not a great example for this next question, but others are. The follow-up feedback that you've had uh, from people that have graduated, gone back to the shops, and putting those lessons into play in their shops. Yeah, I, um, invaluable's been used a couple times. I don't like throwing that around, but invaluable's been used a couple times, um, which is probably the highest compliment I think we could get, but uh, the best training of any product that they've ever been to was another shop. And this was a shop that is a massive detail shop. The things they do in aviation world, as, as well as the automotive world, uh, to say that I thought was, uh, you know, when, and we know their background and I'm not going to share it, but some of the things that they've done for them to say that what we put on, you know, um, was, was the best they've been to in terms of what they learned and what they got to do versus the downtime, you know, the, the experience that they got and the knowledge that they got in a two day training okay. and they've reordered twice. I mean, they were here 45 days ago, you know, and they've ordered, so yeah, yeah. that's awesome. So the, the guys going back to the shop, they're putting these, these lessons to play. Um, most of them were, are, were, were they already our existing customers? Some, not all. Yeah. Okay, so for those of you that are seeing this video, maybe for the first time, Zach, tell them what they're missing when they're not offering PPF. Well, it's... Arguably, if not the most sought after accessory currently, it's one of the fastest growing in the industry. Um, you know, when you get these, especially if people are tinning or even detailing, when you got when you got customers who are dropping off vehicles, you know, high countries, Denali's, this, that, or the other, that are putting WeatherTech in, they're they're doing ceramic film or they're getting a high end detail. All of them are gonna are gonna be more than likely willing to spend. You know, at minimum a few hundred to you know maybe a couple grand more to protect their eighty, ninety thousand yeah. dollar vehicle. Yeah. And when you already have the vehicle in the shop, if you can find a way to increase those ticket prices, then you just put more money in your pocket. You make your you make your shop that much more efficient, that much more profitable. Um, and it's another tool. Maybe detailing the ceramic coating isn't good for that customer. Maybe they would be PPF. You know, the more you have at them, the more you can do, offer your customer, and you become that one stop thing versus. Maybe they drive the extra 15 minutes because the shop up the road offers more 
has has more experience and more uh, offerings. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so um, Tent Shop X in uh, Little Rock, Arkansas, um, has been in, in sawing window film for three, five, three, three years. Um, they're thinking about the offering. They don't know if they want to invest. What type of investment are they looking at to get started? Well, you have options. That's the good thing. It's not all or none. You know, and especially, and we're not the only one. And I'm, you know, you know that I'm very open at our training. Greg's very open. We don't, we want you to buy Scorpion because we want you to get the customer service experience. Everybody has good products. You know, some do have a little bit better product than others, but in terms of just what we'll offer, and, and again, we're not the only one, is Yes, you can go all in. You can get the plotter, you can get the software, you can buy the bulk rolls, which ultimately keeps your raw material cost lower and you make more money per job. But it's a, they go all, the all in value. I mean, you're anywhere from 45 to 5,800, really, depending on what exactly you want to do. That, that's with us. Now, you can get, you know, significantly more expensive with some other companies. Other softwares, other things are much more expensive to get into. Um, you reference plotter, so with this package, you go the all-in route, spend, call it $5,500. You are, minus the skills, you're, you're ready to go. you got a yeah. machine that's going to cut patterns, the software that is going to tell you how to cut the patterns. Yep. Um, that's film, that's tools. Yeah, I mean, the t especially if you do our training, you have the tools already necessary. You know, and, and we're not shy about this, and we tell people at the training, you know, aside from the gel, which we sell directly, you know, squeegees, Amazon, you know, you can get one of the most, you know, Greg uses one that's $7 on Amazon, that's how he teaches every class, and, and we, we give people the most, the most popular ones that are found, um, but, you know, 18 bucks off Amazon, you can get a pack of squeegees, which is really, you know, everybody already has a knife if you're doing tinning, then you just have a couple spray bottles. Okay. So that's the all-in route. So fifty-five hundred plus the training fees. Yeah. So uh, we're around sixty-five hundred now, and you're ready to go now. Tent Shop X in Little Rock isn't quite ready to mm -hmm. throw that down. What are yeah. their options? Well, then you can buy pre-cut kits from us or a number of other people. Um, mm -hmm. But you get that customer that comes in with that high country and he wants a, a hood fender mirror kit. You can get on our website, or you can call in and talk to a rep. You can look up the kit. Say okay. You know, maybe he wants just 18 inch bikini versus the 24 straight. All terminology that you can learn at the yeah. uh, at the training, but you, you can see the differences in the patterns online as well. But you can go, okay, he wants this, it's great. You can see your price there and uh, you can order the kit. We'll cut it, ship it to you and you don't need the plotter. You can just install the kit. Ready to install. Ready to install. Okay. Um, what else do you want to talk about with this training uh, package, training options? Um, Have we covered it? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I'm I'm wanting to talk, you know, we've been working on how we're building these trainings out and I'm hoping that in the new year, not only will we have the PPF, we'll be doing some flat glass training, some, some window tent training and trying to offer, you know, a, a one-stop one -stop shop training facility or, or opportunity for people who want to do everything or want to expand their business. Um, but. It's exciting, you know. I think we're going to be hosting some trainings out of state. Yeah. Uh, which that's something we're really looking at to be more regionalized and localized for people who, you know, you know, our Colorado and our California and our Texas people who, you know, thankfully and graciously have come here. Yeah. But uh, how many more could we get if we? And so that's something that we're looking at. But you know, until we start getting complaints and we see what we're doing doesn't work, it's hard to change yeah. because what we are doing is working and it is successful. Yeah. And it doesn't matter if you leave buying Century or not, people are leaving knowing how to install yeah. paper takes and film, period. And, and that's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what's important to me. I, I want to sell Century and I want to have a Scorpion customer, but in the end, you know, I'm not going to short people who say, well, I may go back and buy a roll of Expel or I may go back and buy a roll of Lumar Suntech. Okay, I'm going to train you the same because you, you, you're coming here, we, you paid for this training, we want you to learn how to do it. We want to help your business grow. That's really what Scorpion's about. Okay. Um, regional trainings. First quarter, second quarter, third quarter next year? Hopefully, hopefully trial runs are probably going to be uh, in the Akron area of Ohio. Um, okay. And uh, I have some other ideas, but okay. uh, nothing that 
should probably be unveiled just yet. south of the Mason Dixon line in say <laughs> February. That would be wonderful, wouldn't it? For us to go, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that would be good. Those Indiana weathers here, Indiana winters here uh, can be uh, chilly to yeah. say the least. Yeah, I need to find one. I need to find a way to get one on Maui. Yeah, yeah, I, I concur. I concur. <laughs> All right, uh, Zach, thanks for taking the time for us. Um, for as always, um, I'm sure you're going to see Zach again. We're going to keep doing these. Uh, special announcement uh, just confirmed with um, our guy in Canada, Terry Mayer. He is going to sit down for a scorpion and cut via Zoom uh, next week. So that ought to be a very entertaining, um, entertaining uh, uncut. So, meanwhile, hey, remember scorpion protective coatings. Protect what's yours.